Statins and inflammation. <clears throat> there was a study recently, just over the past month, which indicated that patients that are having a coronary artery bypass are far more likely to survive that first month if they're taking statins the day of surgery. What was very powerful about this study was that the further they got from the day of surgery in terms of taking the statins, the higher their death rate for that first critical month after coronary artery bypass. <clears throat> now, does that make sense? When you think about how uh, most docs give statins to lower the LDL or bad cholesterol, uh, probably not. It's probably a different mechanism. It's probably decrease of inflammation. Now, how was this discovered? This was <clears throat> first came to light in the 90s. There was a study called Wascops West of Scotland trial. A couple of really smart guys from Harvard, Paul Ridker and Gavin Blake, looked at the data and discovered that <clears throat> There was a significant decrease in heart attack and stroke for people that were taking statins. And it was well beyond what would have been predicted by lowering LDL or bad cholesterol. So they theorized that there's another mechanism. They thought maybe it was inflammation. <clears throat> they did another trial called Jupiter trial. And that Jupiter trial did show significant primary prevention of heart attack and strokes by the statin, uh, resuvastatin. So what becomes clear and has become clear, just Google it, statins actually have two mechanisms. They do decrease LDL or bad cholesterol, but it appears that the more important mechanism of heart attack and stroke prevention is something else. It's something maybe a little bit more subtle. It's decrease in inflammation. I've mentioned inflammation several times. What does that mean in terms of heart attack and stroke prevention? Most people understand when you get a bad rash or a wound on your skin, you can get your immune system taking over and, and working on uh, decreasing that problem, but that creates inflammation, the immune system does. Well, that's exactly what's happening in heart attack and stroke prevention regarding inflammation. When plaque gets built, up in the artery walls, the immune system recognizes that and realizes this inflammation, this plaque, this flat plaque should not be here. So it sends in immune cells. Those immune cells release enzymes. We can actually even measure the enzymes in the blood. So <clears throat> inflammation is a significant uh, risk for heart attack and stroke. Now, why is that? Well, it turns out that when the immune system does work on the plaque, it turns it from a, it takes it from a waxy substance to a liquid substance. That liquid substance can leak out back into the uh, bloodstream. If it does, it causes a clot. That clot is what causes the heart attack and stroke. It's not buildup of, of an artery. <clears throat> 